You're listening to Spreaker Web Radio. Hello and welcome to the Nardo and Sid Show. I'm Sids. And I'm Nardo. All right. See, told and you as long is... as we plan it, we could do it. We did do it right. Huh? Yeah. Who says planning doesn't get anything done? Now we know. Hmm. This is a, kind of a late show, but it's all good. No one listens to this live anyway. Yeah, why would they? I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> The thought of one dude just like sitting there going, "Come on, man," kind of makes me laugh, though. <laughs> that would be great. Like, <laughs> you guys are never on time. <laughs> I don't know why I listen to this show. <laughs> anyway, did you hear about the video game developers that got arrested in Greece? No. Yeah. What they do? Well, apparently, some game developers for the game Arma. Uh, there was a guy, Ivan Bukta? I'm really not sure how to pronounce these people's names. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh-huh. Ivan Bukta and Martin Pesler. Uh, they got arrested for being spies because they were taking photographs and video of military bases <laughs> in Greece. <laughs> They were trying to make a video game. Yeah, they were getting reference material for a video game, and they got arrested for being spies. Mm. <laughs> they were uh, finally released. So, good for them. Yeah. <laughs> Not being spies, I guess. Yeah. You don't want to be a spy, or be caught being a spy. You definitely don't want to get caught being a spy, because... They'll put you in jail, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. There's that story. Yeah. Uh, that would Have you heard any, any more Fallout rumors? I haven't. Well, remember, we talked about the three-dog actor? We did. Said he might be playing three-dog again? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, now, um, Bethesda has applied for a trademark for an ongoing television program set in post-nuclear apocalyptic world. Awesome. So a lot of people are thinking they're just going to make a TV show. Which I would watch. That would also explain to me like how they could get more leeway with using 3Dog since in a lot of gamers worlds he's dead. Yeah. So what you yeah, if they made it a TV show, that was kind of like a prior to the game or whatever. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'd watch mm-hmm. it. Anyway, you cut it. I feel like a Fallout series is going to be awesome. You watched that Nuka break, right? Yeah, I was just going to mention that. Good. That web series, that was really good. There have been a lot of really good web series based on video games. Yeah. It's a good way to do it. There's a Mortal Kombat one that I can't think of the name of. Let me try to find this. (laughs) Either way, they're actually going to make a movie off of the web series. From Mortal Kombat, yeah. From the Mortal Kombat one, yeah. That's pretty funny. Right? And it looks pretty awesome. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't seen any of this. I'll have to look into it. Yeah, I'll put up a link for the trailer for it. It looks amazing. Ah, I can't think of that actor's name. He was the captain in Prometheus. Hmm. Pretty sure that's the same guy. Yeah. He's going to be in it. A bunch of other people. A lot of the people that were in the uh, web series are going to come in to do the movie. Yeah. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty interested to see that. It looked really good. And they did more of a, a realistic thing behind it. Like, Baraka was a doctor who goes all crazy and then, like, pierces up his face and 
puts blades inside of his arms. <laughs> I kind of liked him as a crazy mutant. Yeah, I feel like he should be a little bit bigger than what they have him, but it's still pretty cool the way they did it. Yeah. No, I'll check and it out. They, they show Scorpion at the end of the trailer. <laughs> like, the whole time the guy's talking to this person, you don't see his face at all. Right. And, the, and then at the end, you know, they tell you that it's Scorpion. But they showed his, they showed his face, which I kind of didn't like, like... At first, it was all shadowed out, and I, I think I would have liked it better if they kept it like that. Hmm. Because, like, you don't really see his face in the video games. If he takes his mask off, it's a skull on fire. Yeah. But, which yeah. was awesome. Which is just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, the Assassin's Creed movie... Is getting a writer. Yeah, so I heard that. Cool. Still no, like, official release date or anything. They still don't even know who the director is going to be. Yeah. They're still saying Michael Fassbender is going to be the lead role. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those movies that's been, like, a rumor forever. and just yeah. hasn't really gotten anywhere. I still really want to see it. Yeah, it would be amazing. All right. Oh. I need to play some more of that game. Yeah, um, we should do that. Mm -hmm. We've been playing a lot of Borderlands. Mm. Including new the new add-on. Sir Which Hammerlock's you... big game hunt. You have beat already. <laughs> yes, I did. It came out yesterday? I beat it before. like it owed me money. You know, yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah. The 15th. You already beat it, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Almost twice. Almost twice, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. You might have too much free time. <laughs> the game's just too amazing. I do love that game. And Hammerlock, he's a riot. Mm, he really is. It's just hanging out with him, he's more chill, and he jokes and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's good. And I like shooting big monsters. Yeah. I mean, that's fun. The new enemy type, Witch Doctor, though? I'm against it. I'm not it. a fan of those. Yeah, those Witch Doctors. Brutal. They're like the cursed pirates. I just don't want to fight them. And they go into that crazy tornado spin. It's just it's bad. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan. Hmm. I'm going to play this song here that is actually labeled wrong on this. <laughs> so, But it's actually called Breath of Fire. It was from a game called Breath of Fire 2 even, I think. I'm really not sure, but here it is. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <laughs> so, remember we talked about this uh, Disney Infinity game? Yes. With the little like toy statues that you put on the thing, and then you play those characters. Right. Yes. Well, that is out now. <laughs> well, it's not out now. It's arriving in June. That's what it is. <laughs> yes. There we go. It will be coming out date. in the future. In the future, June. There is a release date out now. There we go. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Those things are so goofy. They are pretty goofy. It's a good plan, because you buy the thing, and then it's like, oh, go buy a million little statues. You know? Yeah, right. You're just going to keep getting more money. And this is cool, too, because it's Disney and Pixar characters, so it's like they already have a huge fan base. Yeah. People are going to want to play it just because of that. So. This is very similar to the uh, that Skylander series. It's really the only other thing that does this, isn't it? Uh, there's probably others, but that's the big mm, one. Like cheap knockoffs. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Apparently, they've made over half a billion dollars since it launched in 2011. So wow. Definitely some serious money to be made, it looks like. Yeah. Not like... Disney is a stranger and knowing how to make money. Yeah, that's kind of their thing. <laughs> kind of what they do. Mm. So, yeah. There's that. I think the only characters you can get right now are Sully from Monsters, Inc. and Captain Jack. Well, that doesn't sound like a very good game. I know that that's, like, with who they come with in the beginning. I don't know if you can get more right off or... Ah. I don't know. Me either. Apparently, individual figures will cost about thirteen dollars. Wow. Yes. And it's just a big hunk of plastic with a chip in it. Yeah, just a little chip in it. Yeah. Mm, you know. All right. They're kind of cool. Yeah. Um, Valve is talking about a lot of virtual reality stuff. Yeah. They've announced that in March they will be. Discussing plans for a Team Fortress support. Awesome. Which I would totally play in virtual reality. Yeah, I can't mm -hmm. even imagine. They'll I also really just bad. be talking about virtual reality in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they didn't really say anything about like what kind of system we are talking about. No name or anything, just virtual reality in general. Yeah, and mm -hmm. they... It's supposed to touch on how virtual reality technologies could become more mainstream in the near future. I hope so. Yeah. So I don't really know many virtual reality systems. No. Nothing that's ever been, you know, worth Nothing it. mainstream ever, yeah. And, I mean, yeah, and most of them aren't that great. That one we talked about before, though, that the one that actually shoots you. Yeah. <laughs> that thing was amazing. I would, I would definitely play that. Yeah. Team Fortress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that is definitely way not mainstream because that was like an iPhone on the gun controller, and like yeah. projector on this like special cloth that would project around angles and stuff, and hmm. this crazy treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Cameras above everything. It was it was ridiculous. Yeah. No, that'd be cool though. Yeah, definitely would like some virtual reality gaming. I guess we'll hear more about that in March. I feel like that seemed like a bigger thing when video games first came out. Like all the developers were like, "Yeah, it's gonna turn into a virtual reality." Yeah. And it it just hasn't yet. We're definitely a lot closer. So. I'm probably just waiting on the technology. Yeah. That's kind of exciting. Yeah. I'm definitely going to follow this. Right? So, did you hear about uh, the NRA releasing their own video game? Only vaguely. 
Like, they're making, they have this video game for your iPhones and iPads that's supposed to, like, teach you gun safety and show you all the laws and whatnot. Hmm. Like, you go to a practice range and shoot a gun and stuff. That just sounds awful. It's supposed to teach you all the laws and stuff. It does. And I also feel like their whole thing was to stop the video game violence. Like, they were really big about it. I I get the idea behind this game, but I don't think this is going to help at all with that. I mean, Well, to teach safety, you know? Right. But you're also teaching them all the ways to use a gun, too. Yeah. So it's like, you you are teaching them the gun safety, but you're also teaching them how to use the gun at the same time. So, really, what if but they I mean, decide to not care about the safety? They're not <laughs> like, just oh, going to... training me. I don't think someone's just going to go pick up that game and then decide they want to start shooting. Right, I don't think anyone's going to do that with any game. But I think rednecks are going to buy this for their children. <laughs> who are going to have guns anyway. Yeah, definitely. So I guess it's a good thing overall. Yeah. I, don't know. I just thought it was funny that after all they're arguing about violent video games. Like, I understand this game isn't violent, but it's still shooting a gun. Yeah. What are you going to do? Whatever. <laughs> Not play that game. That's what I'm going to do. The new Devil May Cry came out. Ooh. Yesterday. Yes? I guess people aren't liking it as much as they thought. Why not? Um, just simplistic combat. Bad uh, narrative. Too simple. Yeah. Happy writing. Mm. Got it. I mean, some people like it, I guess, but a lot of people aren't aren't taking it. I feel like at this point with video games, the developers should have realized that they need to have good writers. Yeah. Like, you can't get away with having just crappy writing in video games anymore. <laughs> Gamers complain too much about that stuff. We're a picky bunch. We are a picky bunch. Hmm. <laughs> Especially when it comes to video game stories. Yes. I don't know. Like, some are really good. It's like playing a movie. And then other times it's like watching a really bad TV show. <laughs> See, I don't really care about the story when I'm playing. It's, if I'm doing something active, then yeah, I don't really care about the storyline. But like, if it's an important part to the storyline, then I, you know, I definitely care more when I'm doing the fighting. Yeah, I'll be more involved because I like the story. Okay. You know, you know what I mean. I guess some games I do get real into. Yeah. Like, like Bioshock. Portal was a Portal was a very simple game, but the story really made me care about it. Oh. Now for me, it's Bioshock, uh, the one I think of. Yeah, I love that story. Oh, um, great stories! Oh, they just, that, that whole game, great artwork, just terrific. Anytime I hear someone say "Would you kindly," I still like. <laughs> Would you get me? I get a twitch. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. Hmm. They uh released the PC specs for that game. Oh yeah. The new Bioshock Infinite. Yes. I sort of have Kinda this thing neat. where I believe my computer is way better than it is, so I don't really pay attention to the specs. You don't really pay attention, yeah. I don't ever pay attention either. I just like hope 
that I don't get the game and install it, and then it's just like, yeah, I can't, I can't do this. Did you read the box? Damn it. No. <laughs> right? Didn't you read the box? It had the specs. Oh. Well. Yeah. You know. Well, I hope I got it, because I really want to play that game. Oh, me too. Like, I've been waiting for this game for way too long now. They kept changing the release date. Uh. Yeah. What do we have now? Still March or something? March, I believe. Ugh. Yeah. I don't know if it says it's here. It does not. No. Oh, well. Too far. Yeah. <laughs> Too far away. Are we going to have time for the second song? We are going to have plenty of time for the second song. Okay. Do you want to play it? I guess I'll do that now since we're talking about it. <laughs> this is uh, Finish Him, a Mortal Kombat rap. If you're against random acts of violence, if you're easily disgusted by gratuitous carnage, then stop watching this video right now! Mortal Kombat! I crunch your skull, I crack your back, I smash your stomach and I squash your sack, I break your face, I shatter your lips, I'll kick you in the throat and then I'll grab your head, I snap your spine, I'll break your jaw, I'll slam you in the ground because there is no law. Beyond, but don't call me a critter, I've got a spike tip whip, bitch Follow my Twitter, you know I live for revenge Sub-Zero makes me bitter And my skull is full of flames, but don't call me a ginger The crap arachnid, you carrot top bitch Should you drop all your weapons if you could tap this? It's the hottest piece of ass in the game Surprise, take a good look at my tits before I gouge out your eyes But there's nothing like a bolt of lightning in your hand When I knock you out the match, you'll go out with a bang Shouting my name no doubt, I'll bring mountains of pain My power's insane, I'll match you with the ground I'll crush your skull, I'll crack your back I'll smash your stomach and I'll squash your sack I'll break your face, I'll shatter your lips I'll kick you in the throat and then I'll grab your head I'll snap your spine, I'll break your jaw I'll slam you in the ground because there is no law I'll shake you by the neck and rip you out of your skin Even if you can't fight me, I'll finish it I'm gonna make you cry. I cut you up in like a piece of pie. Well, I can teleport and fly. Come over here. Don't even try. You've been hanging out with Sub Zero. Either your dick small or really cold. Don't make me blow my lightning low. I'll rip the balls off the boat. Shut the fuck up, punk ass pussy bitch. Just shout corn in the house. Get back in the kitchen. Scooby and I'll squash you. Right in your toes. Katana, wanna make me a sandwich? Hell no. As the battle wages on, the competitors bleed. And I look into my amulet, the prophecy. I will defeat Shao Kahn right now Even if you're a centaur, I'll bring you right down I'll crush your soul, I'll crack your back I'll smash your stomach and I'll squash your sack I'll break your face, I'll shatter your lips I'll kick you in the throat and then I'll grab your head I'll snap your spine, I'll break your jaw I'll slam you in the ground because there is no law I'll shake you by the neck and rip you out of your skin Even if Shao Kahn fights me, I'll finish it Okay. People keep telling me to play. What game do people keep telling me to play? <laughs> Guild Wars 2. Hmm. Everyone plays it, and I know nothing about it. Yeah. But apparently they've sold 3 million copies. That is a lot. Since when August. August? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's... They had more than one million pre-orders. Wow. Two million as of mid-September. Yeah, I haven't played uh, either of these games. No. 
Maybe I should. But a lot of guys I used to play WoW with stopped, and they play Guild Wars now. Yeah, they play Guild Wars. Same basic thing. I'm I see. I don't know. You don't even know. Me <laughs> neither. Oh, we are terribly uninformed right now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to look into this game though. Yeah, yeah. Me too. They seem to know what's going on. Apparently. Three million copies. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So, have you heard that the PS4 and the Xbox 720 might be announced in March? <laughs> I've heard that they might be announced for a couple of years now. Yeah. There's been a lot of talk about the 720 for years. Yeah. But apparently both Sony and Microsoft have planned special press conferences to officially announce their next generation systems. Oh. It's going to happen in March sometime. Huh. I think it'd be mm. great if they just threw some crazy name on them. Yeah. Just so it's not the 720, you know, PS4. Right, yeah, they make, they just change it up while crazy. Hmm. Trying to think of something crazy now. I got nothing. Yeah, I, I would Blake too. <laughs> yeah. Most mm, the Xbox. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> nope. Game Tron. The Game Tron. Fifty thousand. That's that's what they should do. Just make the number all crazy. Yeah. No, you know what they should do is steal twenty six hundred. Mm. <laughs> like the Atari. The X- yeah, <laughs> the Xbox twenty six hundred. Uh, I would buy that. No, I wouldn't. No. I'm not gonna buy another console. Mm-mm. I don't know. There's a lot of new things coming out in the future, so I guess I'll see. Yeah. Who knows? Hmm, if they make a virtual reality system. Oh. That I will be all over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I guess that is it for us this week. So, have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>